VPN filter is a piece of malware that infects uh, what can be referred to as Internet of Things devices. So this is commonly uh, routers and things like that. So right now, uh, estimates are that uh, about 500,000 uh, devices um, are actually infected with this malware. So there are a number of uh, brands actually being affected by this threat that include uh, Linksys, Netgear, TP-Link, as well as some NAS devices like QNAP. This list isn't comprehensive. Uh, there may be other devices, other brands that are also uh, possibly infected by this malware as well. This malware will affect the average user uh, by uh, using one of the, the capabilities that it has in the malware to passively collect traffic. This could be used to harvest banking credentials or other sensitive password information that's going over the home network. Uh, additionally, uh, your uh, home network could be hijacked to be part of an attack on a remote entity, masking the identity of the original user and potentially putting you in the crosshairs of law enforcement. Uh, and then lastly, uh, there is a, the capability in this malware to actually brick a user's device, rendering it completely unusable, uh, which would result in the end user having to replace the device. The Justice Department has come out and stated that it's a cyber espionage group in Russia, uh, SOFACI, also referred to as Fancy Bear, as well as a number of other acronyms. We've previously seen this type of attack used in the past in 2016, uh, when we saw the Mirai botnet, which infected hundreds of thousands of IoT devices on the internet. Uh, this botnet was used for a distributed denial of service attack, which took critical portions of the internet offline, uh, making popular websites and other things inaccessible to the normal user. Beyond simply rebooting your device, you want to make sure you reset the firmware. Your manufacturer should have instructions on how to do this. Well, once you've reset the device firmware, uh, you want to make sure to change your de the default password to something strong and preferably not already on a list of known passwords. Uh, to check to see if something's on a list of known passwords, you can use the Have I Been Pwned uh, website. There's a password tool that will allow you to check to see if your password has shown up in any known breaches of other sites. And lastly, uh, you want to make sure that if there are any man remote management interfaces enabled on your device, you disable those. That'll make it more difficult for uh, a remote attacker to uh, take over your device.